Well, I'm absolutely delighted to be here at the Mini Monsters Camp here in Manchester with former Super Bowl champion Sean Gell. And what a spectacular event we have here today. It is a spectacular event. I mean, you take a look at these young faces and how much fun they're having. You know, we saw them coming in and, of course, they're joking around with their friends. Uh, they out of school right now. Uh, well, not completely out of school. But to be here in this environment and learn about American football, I think it's tremendous. And they're really up for the task, which is all we ask because it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to teach them some drills. But for them to enjoy themselves and get out and participate and get active for 60 minutes, that's what really counts for all of us. Absolutely. The Chicago Bears, a team that wants to install a positive mindset in all of these kids. Have you been impressed by what you've seen here today? I have been because, you know, there's a there's a change in the, the look on the faces of these children when they sit down. They're not, they don't know what to expect. But once they get into this and they start running around and you see how much fun it is and they learn some things and, they, and it's some activity they're not accustomed to and, and they gravitate towards it, everybody's a winner. They're all having a good time. And that's all we're going to ask. It's amazing, obviously, to see how big the sports is in America. It's coming into fruition here in the UK, becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's great to see all these kids getting involved. I imagine for you, it must throw back some memories to when you started playing football. Yes. <laughs> you know what? When we look back on the days that we were introduced to the game itself, it's different than the United States because the NFL is everywhere. It was the thing to do. If you were a, a, a young lad running around playing with your friends eventually somebody showed up with a football because they knew it's gonna it's it's it's, it's our culture it's what it's part of us so now to see this uh, expansion over here in the uk it's it's unbelievable you know keep in mind when i was with the bears and we played in old wembley stadium in 86 following the super bowl and to see that fan base and how it's grown and how much attention still on the game it says a lot about the NFL and how they've approached this because they, they're, they're really pushing this product to the point where, as we believe in it, the fans here are really believing in it. Absolutely, and you've lived in London for quite a long time now. Can you tell me about the developments you've seen over that period? Well, uh, number one, of, of course, is the media coverage. Uh, I think it was Channel 4 back way back when in the, in the games that they were selecting, and then my time at Sky, which was which was really uh, something because we had the opportunity to, to bring more coverage to the fans. And then when you meet the fans outside of uh, you know us just being in the studio or even at the games here when you meet them and they want to talk about the game, you see their passion. You understand that they really believe in the sport itself. It's so different than the sport that they experience here in the UK. But it's growing and then sooner or later, you know, it's, it's going to matter because you look at these young kids here now, I know it's going to stay with them. You know, sooner or later, uh, down the road when they're older, they're going to say, yeah, I remember that. I spent time. Let's turn on the game to see what's going on in the NFL. Just from what they've done here today, it could inspire them to do something so much bigger. And when you reflect on your start in the game and you went all the way to winning a Super Bowl title, can you tell me a little bit about that journey, what it meant to you to become a Super Bowl champion? And there's possibilities here today that one of these kids could be inspired to do the very same thing. It's all about believing in yourself, and that's the thing about team sports. And you know, you talk about building confidence and learning accountability and, and things of that nature, things that we need as adults to move forward in our lives. All of these things are honed in playing team sport. You know, you got to be part of a unit. You have to be responsible. You have to know what to do, and you have to believe in the guy next to you, or the person next to you, and that you have to know that uh, you have to make the right decisions to move forward. All of these things are so important, and that's why. You know, part of this program is for kids to focus on that. We want them to have fun, but also benefit from what this game provides, and that's understanding these type of things. I spoke to a couple of school children before, and they were absolutely thrilled to meet you in person. Are you happy to be making their days? You know, <laughs> of course I am. I, I, I think it's great. I'm, I'm a lucky person to be here that they would want to listen to or even talk to, and and I really appreciate that. I just want to do my part, and, and that's being a part of this whole thing, to bring the idea of American football, uh, play 60, meaning physical activity for 60 minutes a day, uh, best nutrition as, as possible, and to be hydrated. To talk about these things with these kids, seeing them run around and enjoy it, it, it makes my day. I mean, when, they, when the Bears asked me to join in, I wasn't really sure what this was about, but then once I learned about it, of course, I think anybody would want to be a part of something so positive.
And we've got Gustavo here as well, and his enthusiasm is infectious. <laughs> yes. Um, when you talk to him, you think you're talking to two different people. <laughs> I mean, one's talking about the value of this, the other one's getting the, the, the crowd cheered on. I mean, it's, it, it's great, and he's a real motivator, and, and, you know, the Bears are very fortunate to have him. It's been amazing to talk to you today. I'd like to thank you so much for your time. It's really appreciated. But before I let you go, is there anything else that you would like to add? Um, well, the big thing is uh, uh, for our young people, we want to make sure that they are involved in some type of activity. Make sure that their mind is active and that they're physically active uh, to make sure that they um, are ready for any challenges that they may face. This is what's important, and this is what team sports brings to the table. So we want kids to make sure they stay uh, connected and stay active and uh, anything we can do on our side we're happy to help. Thank you very much. Thank you.